Hello people, welcome you all to Mr. Boo. My name is Daniel, I am MVP in Connected System Developer and I work as technical leader at Tech Result. I'm here to present to you the fifth lesson about developing a page flow solution with Workflow Foundation and ASP.NET. Uh, today's, today's lesson will be just practical, so let's go and let's start our demo. So let's finish implementing our demo, our page flow solution. I have here our solution, the solution that we are developing for the last uh, lessons. And now, in, and this time we are gonna finish the implementation of the page flow solution. First, I will add a reference to our workflow library. I have to do that because uh, our web application will call our page flow, our, our workflow library project. So I have the reference here. And now I, I need to start my workflow from my web application. Uh, I will have a, a web form, but it's not good to implement uh, this kind of code in the web form. So here in the workflow runtime wrapper we are gonna create a method to start our work page flow workflow. And it will return a, a guide because uh, it's the ID of the workflow. I, I will call it initialize page flow. Just that. Just initialize the page flow. Now how how do I create a, a workflow and I put it to run? Let's implement this method now. So to create my workflow instance I will have to use my runtime. And I I want I won't declare uh let me put first the namespace here. Many people think to create a workflow I will do like that. I have the page flow workflow library dot page flow. Many people think it's like that, but it's not. To create a workflow, I I must use the runtime because, as I said before, in the previous lessons, uh, the runtime is the responsible for managing the the workflow instances. So the runtime is the one that creates the instance. So I will declare I workflow instance, not um, the type of the workflow. Page flow instance and runtime dot create workflow and now in this con constructor I I will say which type of workflow I am creating so it's like that I will put page flow is this guy. Now I have my instance created. What what do I have to do after creating the instance? I have to start I just have a, an object uh, an instance of the workflow. And now I have to start. And now is the difference between creating um, a workflow using the default scheduler and the manual scheduler. We we have learned it it before but now we will see how how is how make how does it make difference uh, if I had my default scheduler I would do like that create instance start the instance and return the ID but using the manual scheduler if I do like that the workflow won't run because as I said the using the scheduler you have to 
to tell the developer is responsible for telling when the workflow must run. So now I use this method get service uh, and then I get a service from my my runtime. I have added the service here in the method initialize workflow runtime the manual scheduler service. Now I just retrieve the method manual scheduler service and I'll tell run workflow and I have to pass the ID dot instance the ID so it's like that now my workflow will run so now we can create our first web form I will add new web form I will use C sharp and I will call it I will call it default default dot is x okay I have my web form here and now I will add just a button okay I will call it I will leave button one in the text create order Let's generate the event handler. Now I will do like that. Uh, I will declare an ID and workflow runtime wrapper. I will use this new feature and initialize page flow. Just that. Now I have my workflow running. Okay, and I will store. I have to store the ID in the session. Why? Because um, because each each uh, client will have their own workflow instance. So I have to store the ID of the workflow workflow ID. Okay, now our page flow solution now. We will we'll see our page flow working. Before starting, I will add a new web form. That is the first web form that my workflow will invoke. That is order created. So I will, I won't do anything. I just write here order created. And now I run my default. So now I click in create order and my workflow goes to order create. So let's understand what happens.